How did this happen? A Claremont County man with eight DUIs gets another chance to get behind the wheel. Now he's accused of hitting and killing a local teacher. Tonight in a Nine on Your Side exclusive, his grief-stricken widow and the former prosecutor who says he could have done more. I'm sure if I look back, I could probably make it, I could probably say I probably could have done more, you yeah. know. The I-team dug deep into the suspect's criminal past to find out why he was allowed to drive. Investigative reporter Jason Law is here now with what he's uncovered. Jason? When we heard Todd Shaw was arrested for driving drunk seven times, we wanted to know, did the legal system, could it have done more? And the I-team dug through 33 years of court records. We uncovered an eighth DUI arrest from the 1980s that prosecutors weren't even aware of. And we took a look at a court system that one woman says didn't do enough to prevent her husband's death. Deborah Floyd didn't even have a chance to change her last name. Just five months ago, Deborah married 51 year old Fred Carey, an English teacher at Cincinnati Country Day School. It is impossible to express the depth of our loss. Last month, Carey was riding his bike less than a mile from the couple's home in Milford. Police say Todd Shaw was drunk when he struck and killed Carey. Deborah was so distraught over the death of her husband, she could only bring herself to read a prepared written statement. The loss of Fred Carey was utterly tragic, but make no mistake, this was not some accident, but the inevitable result of lax laws and punishments for repeat drunk driving offenders. Deborah was disgusted when she found out how many times Todd Shaw has been busted for drinking and driving. Court records show Shaw's first DUI came in 1981 when he was 18 years old. He was arrested twice in 1985, then again in 1994, 96, 2002, 2007, and finally last month in the hit and run that killed Carey. I was wondering, you know, is this something we, you know, I mean, I was, I was in charge for 24 years. Is this something I could have done about it? Don White was the Claremont County prosecutor from 1989 to last year. I'm sure if I look back, I could probably make it, I could probably say I probably could have done more. You know, I, you know, somebody, you can always say, if you look back, you can always, do, you, you could have done more. You could have looked at this guy a little more closely. We couldn't predict the future. But when somebody's like this, it's just a matter of time before they hurt themselves or somebody else. There were other red flags. After Shaw's fourth DUI arrest in 1994, Shaw told a counselor his plan was to continue drinking his usual amount of four to five drinks, but less often. Shaw was written up for tampering with his car's court-ordered interlock device, which forces drivers to blow into a breathalyzer before turning the key. Shaw's driver's license was never revoked for more than a few years at a time. He never made it to the felony level because his, his DUI convictions were spaced far enough apart that he never made it to the felony DUI level. They never believe they're too drunk to drive. Andy Raycamp is with Mothers Against Drunk Driving. She says there are more drivers like Todd Shaw out there than people realize. The Ohio Department of Public Safety keeps an online registry of habitual DUI offenders, drivers with five or more DUIs. Sure enough, we found hundreds in counties across our area. The only thing that's going to keep somebody like him off the roadways is to keep him locked up because obviously whenever he has the opportunity, he's going to drink and drive and he's going to get out and he's going to do it again. Fred Carey's family tells us they want new laws that will keep habitual offenders off the road. This year, a bill has been introduced in Ohio that would require a first time DUI offender to have to drive with that interlock breathalyzer device you saw there in that story on their car. Andy Raycamp told us that those devices have been known to reduce the number of repeat offenders. Tanya? What a fascinating look at that. Thank you.